Welcome to Pets and Breeds YouTube channel. The Afenpenshire is square proportioned, compact and sturdy, with medium bone. This breed is a smaller version of a working terrier, and as such is not a delicate dog. This is an active tough dog that is agile enough to catch and dispatch rodents. The gait is light, sound, and confident. The Afenpenshire has a monkey-like facial expression with long eyebrows and beard, which lends an air of comic seriousness. The rough coat is about one inch long on the body, somewhat longer on the head, neck, chest, stomach and legs. This coat type provided protection from pests and harsh conditions. History The Afenpenshire's name describes it well. Affen meaning monkey and pincher meaning terrier. In France the Afenpenshire is known as the Diabletan Mustachu Mustached Little Devil, which also aptly describes it. As one of the oldest toy breeds, the Afenpenshire's origins are obscure. Paintings by the old Dutch masters from the 15th century often included dogs resembling a Fentenshire's, but more definite evidence of the breed is absent. Small terriers adept at dispatching rats were abundant in Central Europe by the 17th century. In Germany, they were used to rid stables and kitchens of rodents. Even smaller versions of these dogs were preferred for ladies' lapdogs, able to protect the home from rodents, warm their mistress's lap, and amuse the entire household with their antics. This small version eventually became the Afenpenshire, which was later refined by occasional crosses with the Pug, German Pinscher, and German Silky Pinscher. The Afenpenshire in turn became the progenitor of other wire-coated toys, most notably the Brussels Griffin. The breed was most popular in Germany, which can lay claim as its homeland. In 1936 the AKC recognized the Afenpenshire, but World War II slowed any momentum in popularity the breed had gained. Since then, the breed has remained extremely rare even in America and Germany, its comparative strongholds. The Afenpenshire should do well on a high-quality dog food, whether commercially manufactured or home-prepared with your veterinarian supervision and approval. Any diet should be appropriate to the dog's age, puppy, adult, or senior. Some dogs are prone to getting overweight, so watch your dog's calorie consumption and weight level. Treats can be an important aid in training, but giving too many can cause obesity. Learn about which human foods are safe for dogs and which are not. Check with your vet if you have any concerns about your dog's weight or diet. Clean, fresh water should be available at all times. Health major concerns. None minor concerns. Paddler luxation, corneal ulcers occasionally seen. PDA, open ventilal, respiratory difficulties, leg purge suggested tests. Knee, eye lifespan. 12-14 years. Thanks for watching please, like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon.